Good morning, and welcome to episode 17 of the Weekly Trail Report. The Weekly Trail Report, the outdoor club of Port Jervis's way of getting you in tune and up to date on trail conditions, activities, events, and other spectacular things taking place on the watershed trail system in the city of Port Jervis. We do this every week here on Facebook Live, also available at a link at our website, ocopj.org. This is your host, Tom Faggione. Good morning, everybody. Joining us this morning, as always, for the weekly trail report is Outdoor Club of Port Jervis President Mike Ward and Club Ambassador himself, our good buddy Chip. Hey, guys. Hey, good morning, Tom. How are you? Great. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Chip. All righty. Good to have you guys here today. It is a Saturday morning, and we are coming to you live here on Facebook. Also uh, going to get this all loaded up this afternoon. It'll be available to download at YouTube, and uh, we'll have all those links available on the club page. Of course, our club page is ocopj.org, and that is the official website of the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. We do this every week, guys. It's our way of uh, telling people here in the area about uh, trail conditions, about activities, events, and also a uh, little bit of fun and Mixed in the middle, right, guys? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, it's good. I'm glad you guys are here. Saturday morning, a lot of people this weekend are abuzz uh, talking about the upcoming snowstorm. We're going to address that as well. But um, this report, what's it all about? It's about trail conditions. So we'll turn to you, Mike, club president, and then tell us about the conditions on, on the trails as they are right now. Conditions are great right now. It's got about a one-inch uh, layer of snow on there. Things are a little slippery, of course, but that's to be expected in snow. Things are freezing up. So one one area of note is that if you are, are going out on the trails, the normal wet areas, think, keep in mind that underneath the snow it will be frozen. And so it will be a little slicker than usual. But the trails are in great shape. In fact, in a couple of hours we're going to be out there doing a four and a half, five mile hike. And we'll be able to report more later. And uh, the reason why we do this show is because we want to let people know about the conditions of the trails. Because, Mike, when are the trails closed? They're never closed. Uh, they're never closed unless it's <laughs> a disaster somewhere. We'll, we'll close a specific trail. But the trails are open uh, 24-7, 365. And that's why we do this show is because we want people to know that even if there isn't a club activity taking place on the trails, the trails are open for you. We want you to go up there and have fun, but we also want you to know about the conditions on the trails just so you're prepared uh, as you head on up there. So uh, conditions on the trails right now are good to so get out there and explore and uh, have some fun. And, of course, we were, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit about tomorrow. Um, but uh, get out there and have some fun and enjoy yourselves on the trails today. Uh, Mike, uh, speaking of being on the trails today, uh, give us some reasons to come on out on the trails today. Uh, we're going to have a hike at 11 a.m. starting at Parking Lot 2 up in Elk Sprocks. Uh, the idea was to have had the hike on Sunday as we are alternate Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, but because of the impending storm, we quickly changed uh, to a Saturday hike, 11 a.m., parking lot two i'll be leading the hike We're, we will do a four and a half five mile hike and hopefully the uh, snow will hold off long enough and that sounds like you're going to get this hike in just in time just in time before the snow starts falling chip you're going to be there i'm going to be there yes i am all righty and that'll be a great hike how much money do we need to bring mike to be in the hike uh nothing nothing well, we don't take bribes we don't take uh but we take donations donations <laughs> but are no the welcome. everything we do is free all right. And that is so true to, to remind listeners that all activities that take place on the trails involving the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis, those activities are free. We want you to come out and explore and have fun. And uh, we want you to be part of the, ac the events, or, I'm sorry, the activities that the club puts together. Uh, at this moment, we want to thank a few people right now who have helped make us where we are today. And that is some of our great sponsors. And one of our big sponsors, of course, is the Upfront Gallery in Port Jervis, New York. Uh, they are located right down there on 31 Jersey Avenue in Port Jervis. And you can call Debbie down there, 754-5000. That's 845-754-5000. Uh, Debbie and Gordon run a beautiful art gallery, the Upfront Gallery, right there on Jersey Avenue. They have uh, exhibits and events throughout the year. And uh, they do a lot of great things for the local artisan community. One of the more special things that they run down there is their... Uh, they always have displays for some of our local young artists 
on display, and it's always a great time to go down there and see up-and-coming artists. That is the Upfront Gallery. They're located at 31 Jersey Avenue in Port Jervis. Give them a buzz, 845-754-5000. That's 754-5000 for the Upfront Gallery in Port Jervis. And, Mike, you know, the reason why we take a moment and we thank some of our sponsors is because without all their help, these these events activities and all the promotion that we do for the club it's those uh local businesses that support the club that make these things possible oh very true very true and you know you and, and we i must recognize them any way we can absolutely and you know of course debbie and gordon are not only are they uh good people but they're fr- they're friendly and fun people we get to see them often and it's nice when we run into them uh in some of the uh great locations downtown right chip Absolutely. In they fact, always have a smile on their face when I do see them. They're mm. always smiling. They're great to uh, talk to. And, uh, you know, they're just all around good people. And the Upfront Gallery is a great place to visit. Indeed. Speaking of visiting, we have some visitors that are tuning in on Facebook Live right now, including our friend Mike from Texas. Mike from Texas. Yeehaw, Mike. <laughs> Long time no here. <laughs> And my good buddy Brian says, good morning, guys. And he had, and Brian makes a good point, and he says, hey, everyone be safe this weekend. And, Absolutely. And that's uh, something that you know we're going to touch on right now. Mike, you had uh, alluded to it just a moment ago that our hike scheduled for tomorrow, our, our, our Sunday hike was moved up till today. Correct. And that is because of the pending weather uh, that is uh, forecast for tomorrow, or actually later this afternoon, and into the overnight. Mike, uh, tell us a little bit about other activities that are taking place with the club and maybe some modifications and changes that are taking place due to the pending weather. Sure. So scheduled scheduled was, uh, as, as we talked about, the 11 a.m. hike today up in Elks Brocks. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., uh, Ben Cheek will be holding a, an introductory bike ride uh, throughout the watershed. And he generally will go regardless of the weather. Uh, I have not heard anything differently. Of course, if we do hear something differently, we'll publish it on Facebook or and on the uh, uh, website, ocopj.org, or the club phone number, 845-288-3165. That goes directly to me, and I'll be am- able to answer your questions. But scheduled for tomorrow was that 2 p.m. bike ride. We also had scheduled the 7 p.m. full moon hike. Uh, I would not, I, I'm at this point going to say we must postpone that. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a rain date, the rain date being Monday night. Uh, it's not so much the snow. It's not so much the, the, the water, the ice. It is about, we will be getting down to minus one with a wind chill of below minus 27 due to the high winds. And I don't feel comfortable in taking anybody out there unless they're really prepared for that kind of weather. I've been in that weather. Uh, you go to Calgary, <laughs> Alberta. I've been up there for months and months at a time. Where's Calgary? In, in Canada. Um, Is that north, southeast, no, west, or west? west? West. West, okay. And you you get those high winds up there and the bitter chill and Boy, your your skin will freeze in a minute, in a second, really. Ooh. It's where they do the trick of taking uh, water, tossing the cup of water up in the air, and it becomes snow. It's pretty amazing. Well, uh, but regarding the events, we, what we'll do is we'll take the Sunday full moon hike, and we'll move it to Monday night. Uh, we'll see what happens. The weather's supposed to be just as bad uh, temperature-wise on Monday. But I do recommend, I do recommend that, number one, if you're up for it after the snows, get your snowshoes on and get out there. It's going to be great snowshoeing tomorrow. There is the talk about a mixture of rain and sleet in the area, which will, you know, it they might curtail a little bit of your snowshoeing. But get out there anyhow. Give it a try. Uh, anytime, uh, you know, from dawn until dark tomorrow, give it a try. While, they, But be safe. Always be safe out there. And make sure you're out there with somebody else. In the snow, it's too easy to get hurt and too easy to get stuck. So always make sure you have a second body with you. Well, Mike, you make a very good point there. And that is, uh, you know, the club activities are about getting people to come out and enjoy the trails, enjoy the nature. And this is literally in our backyard right here in Port Jervis. So we want you all to come out and have fun. That's why all the club activities are always free. They're always led by a seasoned uh, 
club leader, except on the chip hikes. Um, hey. Oh, wait a minute. What's that all about? <laughs> but no, the and, and he seasoned salt and pepper. There you go. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, but the whole point is we want you to come out and we want you not only to have fun on the first hike or the first bike ride, but we want you to come back for a second and a third and a fourth. And uh, with the weather turning the way it is tomorrow or later this afternoon, I think that is very smart on your part, Mike, to say, you know what, the um, the full moon hike, which is one of our more popular events. It's the only hike in all of Orange County that is led by experienced hikers on the full moon nights. Um the fact that we're going to just, you know, take consideration for that extreme cold weather tomorrow and postpone that, that's a smart move because we want you to come out and have fun. We don't want you to get frozen to the flagpole, right? That's true. <laughs> and and then on Monday night when we hold the hike, just watch us on Facebook in our webpage because I believe if the weather changes slightly to where the winds are diminished, I'm going to set forth that we... Uh, that we go ahead and get some snowshoes on and do a full moon hike in snowshoes. Well, you know who's, wow. you know who's not wearing snowshoes right now, and it's one of our good friends that is listening in, and that's our friend Cooper. Cooper, how are you, Cooper? Cooper's doing well because he's not wearing snowshoes right now. He's, in, well, he's where is he? He's not even in the country, yeah. is he? His uh, his post just now. <laughs> Hello from Costa Rica. <laughs> Tom, where is Costa Rica? It's not near Calgary. Okay, it's not. No, you are oh. challenged with direction. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, you know, uh, I'm so directionally challenged. It's unbelievable. But don't let that stop you from coming out for a beginner hike with Chip. <laughs> we always have scouts out there watching you. And since you know from Chip's words this morning that he's never been to Calgary or Costa Rica, it's safe to know that if Chip is leading the hike, you're not going to get that lost. Albuquerque you might wind up in. Remember that cartoon with uh, <laughs> Bugs with Bunny, Bunny and, and, and Daffy Duck? There you go. Uh, but it's good to hear our buddy uh, Cooper's down in uh, Costa Rica and enjoying the weather down there. Uh, but back to snowshoeing. Yeah, the, with the weather turning and we're getting the snow coming in, if you own a set of snowshoes, get them out. Get them all ready to go. And if you don't, get out to the stores and uh, pick up a pair. And uh, if you want to get an aerobic exercise, Mike, that's the way to do it, right? It sure is. It's a great workout, actually. But it's a good way also to experience, once again, you get on the trails. These are trails that you may have been on before in terms of hiking, maybe even mountain biking. You put a set of snowshoes on, it gives you a whole new perspective on uh, the trail system. I'm excited there. about it. I've never done snowshoeing before, but I look forward to doing it, absolutely. I can't wait to do it. So, Mike, with the events, uh, I'm sorry, with the activities coming up this weekend, with the weather as it is, all this information on the schedule changes will be available online, right, Mike? That's correct. And That's correct. And again, the website, as always? OCOPJ.org. OCOPJ.org. That's right. That's OCOPJ.org. And that is the official website of the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. And uh, speaking of uh, official and related to the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis, we want to give a special thanks to one of our other morning sponsors of our weekly trail report. And that, of course, are our good friends down at the Fox and Hare. The Fox and Hare is located at 46 Front Street in Port Jervis, and they are the Port Jervis's premier local brewery. And uh, they make beautiful, delicious beers down there. Give them a call, 672-0100. That's 672-0100 for the Fox and Hare. They're open every day, but Mondays and Tuesdays. Wednesdays through the weekend, they are open from 3 to 9.30. On Saturdays, they're open till 11. And Sundays, they're open until 7. So Wednesday through Sunday, go on down, check out the Fox and Hare. Uh, one of the great things about the Fox and Hare, not only do they have delicious beer down there, but they have a great selection of Really yummy foods, sensible foods, foods that if you're into, you know, keeping yourself in shape, fitness, you can go down there, right, Chip? You can get yourself a, a nice... You, uh, you can get a healthy menu at Fox and Hare. Salmon, absolutely. Grilled chicken, wow, superb. Salads, excellent. They will cater to your needs, absolutely. And for me, I know one thing. They got a great selection of handcrafted beers down there. Sean and DK, those guys are uh, the best and uh, we wish them all the best, and we thank them as always. You know, they were the official location this week, Mike, right, for our pre-production show? Uh, yes, indeed. And, in fact, uh, pre-production show one day, pre-production show another day, another <laughs> meeting spot for me. I think I was there all week. In fact, uh, now that we're going to be uh, broadcasting closer to the place, we might see Foundry 42 and Fox and Hare much more often. Much oh. more often. No twisting and, of the arm. We're not going to divulge any secrets at the moment. And, Tom, the term... 
fish comes to mind with you for some reason, like in a bowl, you know, fish bowl. Uh, what? Never mind. Uh, that's over my head. Over your head. But the Fox and Hare are one of our big sponsors, and we want to thank them as always. The Fox and Hare, located at 46 Front Street in Port Jervis. Give them a call, 672-0100, 672-0100. Better yet, go on down, get yourself a nice bite to eat, and enjoy their handcrafted beers. The guys at Fox and Hare, thank you guys so much for sponsoring our show. All right, guys. So there we are. We're getting our way through the show this morning. We've yeah. touched all the bases. You might we, old- we need to talk about one base, though, and that is the important activity, the most important activity of the upcoming week. Now, you know, Mike, you were talking before the show, mm-hmm. and uh, my focus, I got all fired up. I'm like, oh, my God, it's <laughs> yeah. going to snow. You know, everyone's going crazy about bread and milk and eggs yep. and all that. And, Mike, you're just cool as a cucumber. You're like, okay, we're going <laughs> to just- we're gonna move the hike. We might postpone this. But, Tom, remember, we have to talk about another activity. <laughs> so calm, isn't he? That the club for, Well, for those, that, for those who are watching and listening, what we're trying to do is we're, we're, we're tightening up this segment to make it a shorter show, um, try to get a lot of information in a short period of time. And also we're going to, uh, you know, you're going to see some major changes to the show, and I think you're going to like them. Chip? Yes. Yeah. 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 And Be the first, prepared. Be prepared. Yep. Yes, be prepared. I'm but, part of a team. There's no I in team. <laughs> <laughs> so the big ac- activity for, ignoring that, the big activity of coming course. up this week is our annual meeting. This is the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis annual meeting, which will be held at City Hall, the council chambers. This is where we hold our election of the board of directors for the upcoming year, as well as discussion of what activities, events, all the proceeds, uh, financials, uh, reports from the last two months. Our last meeting was the end of November, so we have a lot to a lot to cover. Mike, but, we're going to we're going to be serious about this for a moment. Well, mm-hmm. I'll be more serious than than I normally am. Not on the show, <laughs> and. Uh, The reason for this, this is the annual meeting of the outdoor club. You have to have one meeting a year. This club isn't just a bunch of guys who like to build trails and want to hang out and talk about the outdoors. The club is, um, it's a a fully operational organization. And uh, Mike, you can talk a little bit about the tax status of the club and the reason why the club has to have this meeting. Yes, for those who don't know, the outdoor club of Port Jervis is truly a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are the stewards of the Port Jervis watershed trails and recreational areas, and we have formalized this to make sure that we maintain a status quo of getting the work done, getting things as a standard, uh, being able to bring in monies without having to go and take tax dollars. We do our best to take in donations and contributions to make things happen. And right now, 2019 is going to be a big year, not only for the club, but for the whole area. There's a lot of activity go- uh, activities going on, a lot of events going on, but a lot of behind-the-scenes commercial ventures going on. So be prepared to see a lot of changes, all for the better, not for the worse. And, get, and speaking of changes, one thing I do want to know, in backstepping just a bit is that in this kind of weather being out on the trails always dress appropriately etc but also stay on the trails don't be going off the trails Uh, it's not safe to do so it's safe to stay on our trails just don't go off the trails that's a very good good point and uh, we want you to come back and enjoy it more and more and so you stick on the trail it's going to lead you the right way so, Mike, uh, the meeting is coming up. It'll be what, Thursday? Thursday night, 7 p.m., City Hall, Council Chambers. Everybody is welcome to come join us. The votes will be uh, the members of the club who are in good standing will be able to vote for the Board of Directors. This is a good opportunity to see how we operate behind the scenes as well as joining the club itself. And it's great. If you're interested in some of the hikes that we are uh, presenting. Uh, you want to learn more about the club, come on down to the meeting. It'll be 7 o'clock Thursday night at City Hall. It's open to the public. Come in and you can meet some of the guys and the girls who have make this club a great success. Find out a little bit more about the background of the club in terms of its organizational structure. And you can uh, be a part of a, a great thing here in our community. So come on down 7 o'clock 
Thursday night at City Hall in Port Jervis, open to the public. It is the annual meeting of the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis, uh, the Board of Directors and Administration. So come on out, and you can uh, you can sign up for your membership then, or you can just uh, come down and ask some questions, and we're always willing to be there to answer questions. So, Chip, you'll be there, right? I'll be there. And, Mike, you'll be there. Mike, I'll definitely be there. Mike is currently the president of the club, and we look forward to his stewardship uh, maybe for the next year as president as well. Nah, still debatable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, Chip, your role uh, as ambassador of the club, uh, we that is a symbolic term that we've coined for you, but you do have an official capacity with the club as well, correct? I, you will have. I will have. On Thursday evening, I hope to be elected as the new uh, director of membership for the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. I am excited about it and look forward to it and hope it comes to fruition. Well, we hope so, too, because you're a great guy to go out there Thanks, and Tom. to tell people about the activities that the club puts on. Also, the good uh, that the club has done to preserve what is so beautiful in our backyard and to keep it safe and to keep it pristine and to keep it uh, in the way that it should be without any housing development, building development or any of that. It's going to be a natural uh, area where people can come out and enjoy. And uh, you as our ambassador and now soon to be the director of membership, that will be a great role for you. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I want to thank our another uh, one of our other sponsors of the show. And that is the sponsor who allows us to set up here in Richard's Army Surplus. We are here live at Richard's Army Surplus 264 East Main Street in Port Jervis. We, uh, the store is open every day but Monday and Tuesday in the winter. So closed on Mondays, closed on Tuesdays. But the rest of the time, Wednesday through Sunday from 10 till 530. This is the area's premier and probably the area's only true Army Surplus store for all your needs from uh, military boots to pants, to jackets, to all your outdoor needs, come on down to Richard's Army Surplus. Check it out. Give them a buzz. 856-1911. That's 856-1911. And we want to thank Joe, Amy, Terry, and even Tom, that guy Tom, for uh, allowing us to do the show here. Right, guys? Yes, absolutely. Big bad Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, <laughs> Joe. Thanks, Amy. You okay there, Tom? <laughs> yeah, I got a little. I got, you choked, got a little emotional. I got didn't yeah. choked up talking about the store. Talking I about think himself. That's yeah, what he got choked the ego up went out the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, you oh, saw it, right? Man, the worst time to get a, <laughs> we the worst time it. to get a little tickle was when these guys want to bust chops. Uh -huh. But no, we really speaking of little tickles. That's why the two of us are way over here. Oh boy, yeah. and here it goes. Here it goes. No, but it's off the it, rails. Very serious though. Uh, it's so nice to have a venue to come and set up and be able to bring this show to our listeners and our viewers because it's important that uh, you know we have a safe spot to do it we're not out in the cold today and there's no snow falling on us mike we did a show in the cold weather once right we did we it was great and we've got to do more of that in fact we're planning a lot of that and a lot of great activities and uh, more features coming from the outdoor club uh in the future um so we want everyone to know that listen this you know we're working Tom, hard at this how about we how about we change the format a little bit this morning and if you don't mind me stealing some time from you chip let's uh no absolutely let's Go talk ahead. about what we're going to do in the future just just give a general overlay of mike that. you're the okay. president you guide the ship my friend so what we're going to be doing is that we've really liked the way this has been working out for us but we want to go that step further and we want to really make a first-rate production out of this uh, podcasting. And we are relocating to a studio. We're actually going to create a studio. It's in the works right now. And we will be doing a more formal session. We hope to do a lot of, uh, a lot of video tutorials on bikes and how to build or how to maintain uh, a lot of gear that you can use for hiking and biking. And what Chip was going to be doing this morning, which we kind of uh, did not really prepare him for, was to do a highlight of members. Each week we we want to do a highlight of our members and the contributions that they do make to the club, not financially, but but in terms of enthusiasm, uh, the the benefits that they give us in 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 helping us with their volunteer time, etc. And then all of those people we do need to recognize over time. We get so many volunteers on a lot of these commercial events in town that we do support and so we want to recognize all those people on a regular basis you got that right mike speaking of recognizing how about this yeah. one cooper is away he's in costa rica mike our good buddy he's down in texas listening in right now my other buddy mike's down south and our good friend melissa 
Melissa, Ma- she is calling or or she's listening. Melissa, who yeah. who is always doing our Saturday morning runs. Melissa currently is not doing a Saturday morning run in Port Jervis because she says, "Good morning, guys from Ecuador." No, uh, well, um, and she's that- the one that's always wanting to go snowshoeing. Wait. Nice timing. Where is Ecuador? It's near Calgary. <laughs> is it near? Um, Chip, we'll Costa get you an Rica atlas. Or, or Chip, we're gonna buy you an atlas, buddy. <laughs> but Mike, I, you could tell I failed geometry, can't uh, you? Ge- yeah, geometry. Yep, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike, uh, but, you're. Mm-hmm. We're very excited. You and I have had some great yeah, discussions had- about uh, the future pro- of this program itself and some of the great uh, opportunities in terms of bringing the trails to the people via video, via audio, to really tell people about the great activities that the club puts on and to encourage more and more people to come out be part of the activities and to hey you know what become a member of the club so at this time we're going to turn it to chip chip this is the new segment that we're going to do once a week and it's going to be called chips membership spotlight and where you get a chance to give a shout out to one of our great members someone who's been involved with the club helped out or in any capacity who uh, has gone above and beyond to make our club a great club so chip Hey, all right. Thanks, Tom, for giving me the spotlight. So this is a new segment, and I am proud to spotlight for the first time today on our show, Betsy Gardner. Betsy is a member of the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis, and she is, in, without a doubt, one of the behind-the-scenes making things happen for uh, fundraising events. Uh, one of the things that she was primarily really, really, really responsible for was our first annual Tricky Tray uh, which was a big success thanks to Betsy Gardner and her uh, organizational skills and her way of keeping things focused on an event and a fundraising uh, capacity that we're looking forward to putting together. Betsy Gardner is one of those persons that has a lot of passion and 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 uh, offers a lot to the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis with her fundraising skills and ability and keeping things on track. She is just great. And our, our Tricky Tray, the first one, was a big success thanks to a lot of our memberships, members who came out to volunteer as well, but due to uh, Betsy Gardner being in the, uh, how do you say, at the helm, so to speak, uh, organizing everything and getting everybody set, set up, and, uh, you know, really, truly was a great event. We had success with it. We look forward to it uh, coming back again, and it'll even be bigger, thanks to uh, member Betsy Gardner, who we are spotlighting today, and we appreciate all that you do, Betsy Gardner, for the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis, as well as every other member who comes out to the events and volunteers their time, and everybody else. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to do it every week, and it's a member spotlight. It's our way of saying thank you for all that you do it and and however you do it to make the club a better way and betsy not only you said she's behind the scenes hey listen betsy was on some hikes with us recently oh yes as well. uh, yes absolutely uh i keyed in on the fundraising aspect betsy has been out on some hikes with us and she is doing great out there as she looks forward to increasing her capacity to get on those uh, moderate to difficult hikes i'm sure i remember the one hike we were on it was a little bit muddy on one part of the trail and betsy said don't worry about me I'm going to get there. And I said, Gee. Betsy, that's exactly the spirit of why we do this. There you go. That's a trooper attitude. We enjoy that. And we thank you, Betsy, for coming out on the hikes and everything that you do for the fundraising activities. And, uh, you know, we're we're just uh, glad to have you part of the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. Thank you, Betsy Gardner. And Betsy is the Neil Armstrong of Outdoor Reports because she is the first member spotlight. First. Yes, she is indeed. Thank you, Betsy. All right. And, Mike, uh, we're going we're gonna to about wrap things up right yep. now because, you know, it's uh, getting to the point where I think people are really in a panic mode for bread sure. and milk. Yeah, in fact, I wanted to bring that up, Tom. And, and so uh, in, in terms of uh, the weekend ahead, you know, we do have activities, and uh, we've modified the activity schedule based upon the weather coming up. Mike, the floor is yours, my friend. Yeah, uh, just because of the weather that we're, ex- uh, we're expected to have tonight and tomorrow, we have changed our activities. So do pay attention to our Facebook page, which is Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. Uh, also, our, our um, website, which is ocopj.org, or if you need more information, and take this number for many reasons. It's 845-288-3165. And I say many reasons because I know we have a lot of older members with the group, 
And because of the conditions this weekend, if anybody needs anything, feel free to contact us and we'll try to help you out. Because I know that when this kind of weather, people run into trouble. They can't get in and out of the house. So let, let us know. We're part of the community. Let us know if you need something from us. Once go. again, that's 845 288 Three one six five. If there's no answer, we're really busy. Just leave a message, and we'll get back to you. You're, you're so right about that, Mike. You know, we're here to talk about the activities and getting out and enjoying hiking and biking and snowshoeing and uh, the nature that's in our backyard. But at the heart of all this, we are a community club, and we are here for the community. And so, with the weather turning the way it is, you know, we're reminded of a couple of things. Number one, keep an eye out for your neighbors. You live next to someone who might be a couple of years older than you. Keep an eye on them. Make sure that if they need a little help, you know, take some time, go over and say, "Hey, guys, you okay?" Uh, maybe shovel their sidewalk at the end of the snowstorm, or just kind of maybe make sure they have what they need in the house. Also, here in the city of Port Jervis, I remind all area uh, residents that uh, do your part and help out our volunteer firefighters. When you see that that uh, fire hydrant is covered in snow, make sure that you're safe, but go out there and shovel a three-foot round circle around it. So God forbid the fire department needs to come and use the fire hydrant. It is open and available for you. And also, if you have a storefront or if you have a business near a corner or a house near a corner, make sure you shovel the sidewalk to the corner so that pedestrians who are using the sidewalks can safely get across and into where they need to be. And those are just little things that a small city like Port Jervis and our community, what we do together as a community to kind of pitch in and help each other out. And as Mike said, if you need something, if you need something or somebody that you know might need a little help, hey, send us a message. You can always reach us online at Facebook, and we are the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis. Or you can go on our website, ocopj.org, and uh, we are a community-minded organization, and we're always here and willing to help. And, Mike, those are very good points that you brought up. Thank you, sir. All but right. it's, it's very important that we do that. Mm -hmm. Very important. So, yes. guys, uh, you know, it's about it for our show. It's show number 17. Perfect. You guys Excellent. Have to, you guys, we're going to break it down now because uh, the hike is coming up. The hike is still on for 11 o'clock this morning. Mike, remind the listeners and the again. Woman, and the Women's March is today. Okay. And that's one of the reasons I'm pushing. I'm supplying some uh, uh, walkie-talkies and things for them to be walking around while we're out on a hike. Well, so, don't, women, you can come out on our hike. Yeah, come on up, up in the mountain. It'll be a lot more fun anyways. Uh, but that's the case, guys. You have to head out on the mountain. Yep. Uh, I'll be here at the store all day, man in the helm here. But uh, this is going to do it for Episode 17 of the Weekly Trail Report. And the Weekly Trail Report is brought to you by so many of our great uh, sponsors. And we want to thank Debbie at the Upfront Gallery, the guys down at the Fox and Hare, and, of course, the gang here at Richard's Army Surplus, our three official sponsors for the Outdoor Club of Port Jervis Weekly Trail Report. Guys, that's it. Thank you, Tom. All Thank right. you, Tom. All right, I want to say to everyone out there, guys, be smart. Be safe this weekend. Make smart decisions. Come on out and enjoy all that's around you, but do it in a sm safe and smart manner. And we'll pick this up next week, next Saturday, 8 a.m. Listen to us again, the Weekly Trail Report here on Facebook Live. And also, the links will be available online at ocopj.org. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you.